Hi guys, Abs here. On April the 21st, Google will be introducing a new ranking factor or a new algorithm into their ranking factor whereby if your website is not mobile friendly, then it's not going to be serving your website to mobile devices and media devices as well, which will mean a massive reduction in traffic. Um, now, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can take your HTML websites that are not mobile friendly and how you can make them mobile friendly using our software that we've developed in-house It's and it's totally free of charge for you guys to actually work with and use. Now, just before I get over to that, um, if you actually work with WordPress and you missed my last video, um, then we've actually got... Um, um, a post and a video where I'll show you how to use one free WordPress plugin um, and with that WordPress plugin all you have to do is install it and your website is literally mobile friendly within seconds. Um, so anyway have a look at this website here I'm going to show you an example and a demonstration of using the software as well. So shoshisin.com I'm going to quickly click analyze again I'll put this on pause because it can take some time. Okay we're about 84% complete um, and what we're going to be doing is we're going to actually be making this mobile friendly um, and we're going to be using my software um, which is totally free for you guys to use as well so let's just wait until this complete so I can show you guys that it is not mo it isn't mobile friendly um, and Google actually tells us this as well so this is actually using the Google webmaster tools it's a mobile friendly test and you don't need to be logged in to use this I don't think guys um, so do take advantage of this okay so 96% complete come on Google Okay, here we go. So Sochisin.com is not mobile friendly. The text is too small to read. The links are too close together and the mobile viewport is not set. Okay, so how can we make this mobile friendly? Because don't forget, this is a HTML website. It's never been built to be mobile friendly. Um, and I don't want to spend any money on making it mobile friendly, not yet anyway. And I just want to make sure that I'm ready for the 21st of April so that I don't lose any traffic. And this is exactly why we built our tool. So anyway, let me just show you the three different types of mobile friend or how you can make something mobile friendly you can either have a responsive web design or you can have a dynamic serving or you can have separate URLs so instead of actually going into each one of these what our software does for HTML sites is it creates separate URLs now let's just take a quick glance at what Google expects from using separate URLs so firstly you have a HTML first firstly you have a page um, and this page is for desktop devices and then you have another page um, that's for mobile devices and as as you can see, um, Google is showing us an example of using subdomains. So you've got m.example.com, which will be serving mobile devices, and you've got example.com, which will be serving desktop devices or desktops. Now, when you look at these guys, it's going to have exactly the same content, but it's styled differently. That's the only difference. You'll have things like the text being larger. You'll have things like having more space between your links um, and your page width is going to be smaller as well. Your line height is going to be um, wider or higher, um, or you're going to have more line height. Um, but anyway, this is exactly what we're going to be doing. We're just going to be copying the content onto a new URL, but we're going to be making sure that it's going to be um, serving mobile devices nicely and we just need to keep a few things intact so let's just see what Google tells us firstly Google says to us we need to signal the relationship between the two URLs okay so we need to signal this relationship by adding a rel equals canonical tag and a rel equals alternate tag so basically the canonical tag is going to make sure to tell Google that you know what everything that's on this mobile page is actually coming from the main page or whatever URL we're going to put so this is going to save us from having having any duplicate penalty issues and the rel equals alternate element will be put on the desktop site and that will tell Google that you we have we actually have an alternative page for mobile devices and this is the URL and at the same time we need to do one more thing which Google tells us here and that is we need to do we need to detect the user agent streams and redirect them correctly. So if someone comes to example.com and they're coming on an iPhone, so we need to make sure we detect that the users on an iPhone and then redirect them to the mobile site. And I'm gonna show you how to do all of this, guys. I don't expect you to remember all of this, um, so so do, do keep that in mind. I'm just explaining exactly how it works. Um, so anyway, you might actually have a question. Well, hang on, Abs. If this site or this new page that I'm going to be building now is going to be serving mobile devices, then what about the SEO? I've done all of my SEO and I've got this site to rank. Well, don't worry about that. And the reason behind that is because we're going to this is going to continue to rank okay so if it's currently ranked on mobile devices because the update hasn't taken effect or some people say you know google rolls out the updates way before um, they actually announce them 
Um, but let's just say, for example, this site will continue to rank. When this site continues to rank, because we've put and we've detected um, the user agents and anything, then this will continue to rank. But when somebody comes to it, and if they're on a mobile device like an iPhone or a BlackBerry or a Nokia, then they'll automatically be redirected to the mobile page. So this page is still going to rank. You don't need to do SEO for this page because this page is going to be ranking still. And this is where we've done all of our efforts on here anyway. OK, so let me show you exactly how we can do this. So I've got a software here. It's called mobilesitebuilder.exe. Um, it's very simple to use, but there are a few steps that we need to do. OK, just give it two seconds. We've just actually released an update for this as well. I should have actually updated it before I build this video, um, but no worries. OK, so I'm going to paste my URLs in here. What you're going to notice is I haven't entered just sociasyn.com. It's very important that we have the actual file name. So sociasyn.com is actually index.html. So let me just show you that. OK, so this is sociasyn.com index.html. And it's very important that we have the file name down here. So on sociasyn.com, I've got FAQ, pricing, product tour, testimonials, contact us, and social media and training. And over here, I've added all of them pages here. What I'm going to do now is click on download. And this is going to download all of the pages. And you can mess around with the color. If you want to change the color of the page or the background, sorry, you can mess around with the font size as well. But if you just want something quick, a fast fix, just to make sure that your site's going to be ready and it's going to continue to be served to mobile devices, then you don't need to mess around with any of this. You can change the source code here if you want as well. You can actually see a preview of how the site will look here as well. But again, guys, this actually needs to be online to get the majority of these images and everything on there as well. Um, so anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave everything as is. Um, and just to let you know, guys, when you do make a change on here, just click on update and it'll update the changes and undo the changes and undo the changes. Um, in fact, guys, let me just explain exactly why we got this made. We got this made because I have a ton of HTML sites and I needed a very quick fix to get them all mobile friendly. Um, and I didn't want a preview browser. I didn't want any HTML areas that I could edit in here as well. Um, but because my developer knew that I'd more than likely or this would become handy for you guys as well, um, he went ahead and took it upon himself to create a HTML area and a preview area so you can see changes as well. Just work with the update and undo and undo all changes if you want to work with that. Anyway, I'm going to click on generate mobile site. OK, and I'm going to look for a location. OK, I'm just going to put it on the desktop, click OK. And behind here, you can actually see it's generated. So I'm going to open that folder. OK, so here's the folder. And as you can see, what the software's done, it's renamed all of them pages. So it's got m underscore index dot HTML for the index page. It's got m underscore FAQ dot HTML for the FAQ page. So if we have a look here, you can see. So we've got index dot HTML. And here it's got index uh, m underscore index .html. So that's exactly how it works. But let me just show you what else the software has done as well. So let's just go into index.html and let me just open. Oops. Sorry. Let me open it with Adobe Dreamweaver. Where is it? Here it is. OK. And what you can see towards the top is automatically put in the canonical tag in there as well. So it's got rel equals canonical and it's saying sociasyn.com index.html. Now let's go over to FAQ and let me just show you that this software does everything for you. So here it's told you on the FAQ page, it's told you that the canonical page is sociasyn.com forward slash faq.html. It adds the viewport in here as well and it links to and it links it to a different styling sheet. So we have a different styling sheet which is going to need to be uploaded as well. And that's in style and then you've got the style sheet there as well. So let me show you what we need to do. So these are ready to go. Okay, so these are going to go on to my server now. So I'm I'm here already. OK, and here's the pages and here's the style sheet. So what I'm going to do is da -da -da -dun, and I'm going to upload them. And as you can see, they're getting uploaded. And now I'm going to upload the style folder. OK, and that's being uploaded as well. Fantastic stuff. What we need to do now, though, guys, is as mentioned. Um, OK, let me just take you back over to here and I'll show you exactly what we've done. Right, signal the relationship between the two URLs by the tag canonical. Now, the canonical tag will go on the actual mobile page to tell Google that this mobile page actually belongs with the text. That's all you all 
duplicate of this page actually belongs from or comes from this main page. Um, so we've done that, but we also need to use an alternate tag and tell Google that we also have an alternative page for this desktop page. So we need to make some changes to, the, to this desktop page, but we also need to detect user agent strings and then redirect users from this page to that page if they're on mobile devices. What does that mean? So that means on this page here, the original page, we've got two changes to make, and I'm gonna show you what changes they are. If we scroll down on this page, Google actually tells us on the desktop page, we need to add the rel equals alternate tag, okay? And tell them where the mobile page is. And on the mobile page, we need to add the colonical tag, which we've already done. Okay, and then this is about sitemaps. So let's just go and make them changes. So I'm gonna go over to my FTP client, and what I'm going to do is download all of my original pages. Okay, so what I'll do here is I'll actually make a new directory here and I'll call it Soshi Sind hyphen orig and I'll go into there and I'll download these pages in here. Okay, so there they are, they're, they're, they're here. So let's just go back over to this folder here. Okay, and here's the Soshi Sind orig and here are the actual files. So what we need to do now is we need to edit these files and I'm going to show you how we're going to edit them as well guys. Now what we need to do when we're editing these is we have some tags to add in here. So here's the link equals rel sorry here's the link rel equals alternate media tag which we need to put on here and give it the alternative page of where the mobile device or the where the mobile page is. So this is the index page and the mobile device or the mobile page is m underscore index.html. So as you can see I've already got that URL here. And then we've got another section here, which is the JavaScript coding. This section here is going to detect if the user or if the user agent is a mobile device like an iPhone or a BlackBerry or any sort of Android device or any Nokia's or anything like that. And if it is, then it's going to tell it to redirect that that user over to the mobile page. So there's two sections in here that you're going to need to change, guys. So I'm going to give you this code that you can copy and paste, um, but with the URL sections this section here and this section here it needs to be your mobile page section so m underscore index dot html is the mobile page that i've uploaded for sociasin.com okay and the same is true and and this is exactly a repeat here so this here is telling for the first tag here is telling google that we've got an alternative page for sociasin.com and this is the alternative page and this section here is telling the actual browser or the uh, whatever browser the user is using on whatever device that if you are one of these here then redirect them to the mobile page and the final thing that we need to do is we just need to add um, or replace our main body tag with a body onload tag as well so I'm going to show you how to do this so this first thing here all from script okay let me just copy out that okay this section here from script all the way to the top you just copy just make sure you're replacing these URLs and what you do is you find the head tag the starting of the head tag have an enter in there or, or hit a line space in there and copy and paste it in there so now this is all in there perfect but now what we need to do is one last thing and that's look for our body tag and replace it with this so I'm gonna copy this here I'm gonna look for our body tag you can just do a control F if you wanted to, but here's my body tag here. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna highlight it all and replace it with that. And I'll, now I'm gonna save it. I've saved it over guys. Now I'm gonna go over to here. I'm gonna refresh this here and I'm gonna get my index page. As you can see, 130.07, 130.07 there. I'm gonna get my index page and I'm gonna double click it and override my old page and I'm gonna click on okay. And now I'm gonna go over and show you how this has worked with Google. And I'm gonna go over to the same one, sociasin.com. I'm gonna click on analyze. And we'll just wait until this, this completes. Okay, I'll put it on pause until it completes. And there you go, guys. Our site is now mobile friendly. Google is totally cool with this. As you can see, it's saying awesome. This page is mobile friendly. And if you actually visit sociasin.com from your mobile device now, you might actually see it redirect you to sociasin.com forward slash m underscore index.html. 
Okay, so you can check it out in, 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 in your own sites or in your own funds as well, guys. But as you can see, Google's gonna accept this. We're not gonna get penalized for this new algorithm update that takes place on the 21st. So let me just show you one more page while we do one more page together. Okay, so this is the original one again. Let's do the, um, let's do the Tor page, okay? And I can open this with Adobe Dreamweaver. What I'll do, I'll actually go to Tor. I think it's Tor, T-O-U-R dot HTML and we'll see that this is not mobile friendly. I'll put this on pause again because sometimes it can take a little time for Google to actually update these. Oops, there you go, look, there was a problem loading this, the URL. Let's just load it again. Sometimes Google does have issues. I'll put it on pause because it does take a few seconds sometimes. Okay, fantastic. So this is telling us the uh, on tor.html, um, the links are too small to read, the mobile viewport is not set, the links are too close together, and the content is wider than the screen. Okay, so what we're going to do now is I'm going to go over to the Tor page. So this is the Tor page that I've opened. Again, I'm going to copy the script all the way to the top. I'm just going to copy it. I'm going to go over to here, find the head tag, add a line break, paste it in there. But this time, don't forget guys, this is the Tor page. So I'm gonna do m underscore Tor dot HTML. And I'm gonna go over to the top as well where the alternate page is. I'm gonna do m underscore Tor dot HTML. And that's done there. And what we need to do now is one final thing is get this body tag and replace it with our body tag. Okay, where's the body tag gone? Here it is, the body tag. And I'm going to replace it with our body tag. And this is the tour page. I'm going to hit Control S, save it over, go back over to here, refresh this here, go to tour.html, upload that onto here. So there you have it. It's super simple to make your sites mobile friendly. And all you have to do is just do exactly what I've just done here in front of you now. Now, of course, this isn't the best of solutions um, in the sense that you're gonna get a brilliant template and you're gonna be able to, um, I don't know, really play around with your design. Um, but this is a simple, quick fix that will allow you to make sure that you're not gonna get penalized for the update that's gonna take place on the 21st of April, 2015, um, and it buys you some time, so to say, um, until you can go out there and actually make a responsive design so that you don't have to manage two URLs or um, you, you know, you go out there and make a different template and a better design, depending on exactly how you want to get this done. So anyway, guys, um, you can download this on this page. Full instructions are going to be on this page. I'm going to leave all of this for you as well. Um, so you can play around with this. Um, what I'll do here, though, is I'll write URL to mobile, well, then all in capitals, yeah, mobile device. Oh, page. Okay, and all you have to do is make sure you replace this with your mobile page, and this will go on to your desktop site, your main site that's used for your desktop pages. Um, and just remember, guys, it's super simple to work with, and you can test it using the Google's, um, Google's own page here as well. So thank you very much, guys, and I hope you enjoy working with the tool.